Okay, we are on essential skills, day number four, cuatro. All of this information, that's all the Spanish I got, kids. All of this information can be found at www.nkinfinity.com. Com. Now, some of this stuff is notes. Some of this is problems that you want to work out. I would highly recommend you come over here, click on New York State Teachers, click on Review. Now, what you'll find out is here, Miss Newman and I, we've created five practice tests for you. Five. We've created flashcards, and we keep updating these flashcards over and over again. Video on how to get them. There's the flashcards. Um... I've got spiral reviews. Man, I got 28 review topics. Each one are sets of problems. Each one's got seven or eight problems. Lots of review. And then you come down here for topic reviews. We're on topic four. I'll have these videos up very, very shortly. I'm working on four right now. It's just simple remainder theorem. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Helps me out, helps you out. So we help each other out on that one. And you're going to find out, you'll get some information about, you know, things that I'm doing. Please do me a favor. Send a quick tweet out. Hey, if you're doing Algebra 2, send it out to your friends. Let's see how fast I can get my YouTube channel to grow. Helps me out. Gives me an opportunity to provide you guys with more services, okay? So, um, anyway, let's get started. Let's talk about the remainder theorem. Nothing better than the remainder theorem. My name is Mr. Krauss, but call me Mr. Key for now. Here's, the, how the remainder, here's what the remainder theorem states. If you have a polynomial P of X and it is divided by linear factors, then the remainder is... And, oh, and the remainder is zero. And if x minus a is a factor of p of x, then a is a root or a zero of the polynomial. So if polynomial is divided by one of its linear factors, then the remainder is zero. That just means it divides in evenly. I have no idea what that star is there for. We'll talk about that in a minute. So. Is This is saying, is x minus 7 a factor of this? I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to show you the easy way. If x minus 7 is a factor, then 7 is a root. Or if I plug 7 in, I should be able to get 0 out. So 7 squared minus 2 times 7 minus 25 should equal 0 if, in fact, it's a root. So we'll do that. We'll come over to the calculator. We'll say 7 control var x, enter, x squared, I forgot what it was, minus 2x, minus 25. If it equals 0, it's a root. It's not a root. In this case, it's not a factor. I think it was asking if it's a factor. right? Is it a factor? No. Now, what's method number 2? Just to see if it divides in evenly. This is the easier way, but this is clearly another way to do it. x squared minus 2x minus 25. Uh, just multiply by x. I get x squared minus 7x. Subtract, add. So I get 5x minus 5. Multiply by positive 5. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. Ooh, this should be 25. I should have brought down a 25. Subtract, add, right? This gives me 10. Oh, wait a second. Isn't that what I got here? 10. It is not a factor. These should match always. It is not a factor, no. Okay, now let's check this one. Well, if 3x minus 1 is a factor, then 3x plus 1 equals 0, or x equals negative 1 third is a root. Which means if I plug it into there, I should be able to get 0. So let's try it. Negative 1 divided by 3, or enter. Negative 1 divided by 3, control var x. And now, let's type it in. 6x cubed plus 11x squared plus, oops, plus plus 11x squared minus 3x minus 2. If it equals 0, it's a factor, and negative 1 third is a root. Hey, it equals 0. So yes, it is. So let's check it. 
Let's check it by long division, just for fun. 6x cubed plus 11x squared minus 3x minus 2. So how many times is 3 multiplied to that? That gives me 2x squared. 6x cubed. 2x times 1 is plus 2x squared. The hard part about this is forgetting that you have to subtract. So subtract, subtract. I get 9x squared minus 3x. 3 times 3 is 9, so that's plus 3x. That's 9x squared. 3x times 1 is, well, 3x, positive. We're going to subtract, subtract. That makes that minus 6x minus 2. What do I have to multiply 3x by to get there? You've got to multiply by negative 2. So it's negative 6x and negative 2. Change the signs. Subtract, which makes this plus, which makes this plus, And I get a remainder of 0. And any time you get a remainder of 0, then this is a factor, which also makes this a root. So let's, we're just going to work on now, instead of the division, we're just going to simply check to see if it is a factor. If x plus 7 is a factor, then x equals negative 7 is a root. And we're just going to check f of negative 7. If it equals 0, root. If it does not equal 0, not a root. So let's check it out. We're just going to simply go through and use our calculator. So negative 7, control var x. Press Enter. Now type it in. x cubed, x cubed, get out of cube mode, plus 3x squared, plus 3x squared, minus 25x, plus 21. Press Enter. Yes, it's a factor. Yes. Let's check this one. Now, wait a second. If 3x minus 2 is a factor, then 3x minus 2 has to equal 0, or x equals 2 thirds is my root. So I'm going to try 2 thirds. So 2 divided by 3, control var x. Press Enter. So 6x cubed, 6x cubed plus 5x squared. Oh, I got this down here. Minus 9x plus 2. Minus 9x plus 2. Plus 2. Equals 0, so yes, it is a root. All right. What is the remainder when this is divided by 2? Well, the remainder is if I plug in it's h of positive 2 because, you know, I don't have to go through the whole division. The remainder is going to be h of positive 2. Oh. Well. I think what they're trying to get at, if x is divided by one of its linear factors, and its linear factors would be, then it should be p of whatever that linear factor is. Because if, you know, if I'm going to divide by x minus 2, if I want to know what the remainder is, and I'm going to show you this is true in a minute, then I'm going to just do h of 2. Not h of positive 2, set that equal to 0, and I'm going to do h of 2. And so h of 2, 2, control var x, I'll prove this to you in just a second. Uh, let's do it. x to the fourth minus x cubed. I hate putting those in. Uh, minus x squared minus x. And well, the answer is two. Now I'm going to see if that works over here. So we're going to take a x minus two. And we're going to divide e into x to the fourth minus x cubed minus x squared minus x. Really, we should put plus 0 down here just for fun. And the reason we should put plus 0 down there is because you need terms all the way to the end. So let's see what we got. 
x cubed goes here. x cubed times x is x to the fourth. x cubed times negative 2 is negative 2x cubed. Subtract, add, I get x cubed minus x squared uh, plus x squared. x squared times x is x cubed minus 2x squared. Subtract, add, I get x squared minus x plus x. x times x is x squared. x times is minus 2x minus plus x plus 0 plus 1. 1 times x is x. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Subtract, add, and I get 2. And there's your remainder. So I just proved to you that if this, if you divide by this, the remainder is going to be the functional value at that point. All right. So let's check this one out. Um, oh, man. Okay, we're going to divide by this, right? So if this is this, now I want to do 2x minus 1 equals 0. I'm going to set, so if I set that equal to 0, x equals 1 half. So what I want to do is k at 1 half. So let's do that in our calculator. Uh, 0.5 control var x. Tum. And then I'm going to type it in. 2x cubed. Minus 7x squared, minus 7x squared, minus 8x plus 28, minus 8x plus 28, 28, 22.5, done. Maria claims that 5x minus 4 is a factor. Now, I can either do long division or I could say, okay, I want to do m, 5x minus 4, equals 0. If that's true, then x equals 4 fifths has to be a root. That means m at 4 fifths has to equal 0. Let's check it. Let's check it out. Does it? So 4 divided by 5, control var x. And let me just type this sucker in. 5x to the 4th, 5x raised to the 4th, minus 29x cubed, 29x cubed, plus 55x squared, forgot to get out of cube mode, plus 55x squared, minus 28x. And since it equals 0, then yes, it is a factor. Joe and Mandy are arguing about the factors of the polynomial blah, 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 blah. Joe thinks that x plus 1 is a factor, and Mandy thinks x minus 1 is a factor. Determine who is correct. Explain your reasoning. So if Joe is correct, then x equals negative 1 would be a root. If Mandy was correct, x equals positive 1 would be a root. So we need to just check those. So we need to check. We need to stow them in and check. So negative 1 control var x. Enter. And then i got to type this stupid thing in. It's going to take me five hours. x raised to the fifth. Get out of that mode. Minus, oops. Minus 2x raised to the fourth. Get out of that mode. Minus 12x cubed. Get out of that mode. Minus 12x squared plus 13x minus 10. Good news, I only typed that in once. So negative 1. Negative 1 is not a root. It appears to be. Hold on. Do we, we, I think we typed it in right. Let's try 1. 1, control, var. Now, if they're both not right, maybe I didn't type it in right. They both appear to be wrong. So let's see if I typed it in wrong. x to the 5th minus 2x to the 4th minus 12x cubed minus 12x squared 
My, oh, I put my, I put plus 13x. So, okay. Typed it in wrong. Because they, neither of them work, made, led me to believe I might have typed it in wrong. So now we're checking one. One appears not to work. So let's try negative one. Negative one, control var, x, enter. Ah, negative one is a root. So negative one is a root. So since negative 1 is a root, then therefore x plus 1 is a factor since x equals negative 1 is a root or of root or the polynomial evaluated at negative 1 equals 0. Blah, blah, blah. All right, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's the remainder theorem, kids. That's all you need to know about the remainder theorem. That the function value at, um, at that root equals zero. It's a root. If it doesn't, it's not a root. All right. Catch you on the flip side. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. See y'all.